Today I'm combining foiling with a shaker card which is going to give us a stunning card. I'm going to play with this new foil and cut die set. This is from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. This is my top favorite from the whole release if I had to pick just one product. And this video is actually part of a blog hub. Lots of inspiration, lots of giveaways. Make sure to visit my blog to find out all about it. Today I'm going to try a new paper for foiling. This is the white glossy cardstock by Simon Says Stamp and it is designed for hot foiling techniques. I haven't used it before. To tell you the truth, I have always been using Nina Solar White and I had perfect results. So today I'm going to give this a go. I will foil everything with um, gold foiling, which is actually my favorite when it comes to foiling on top of white paper. I always like to secure my plate with the foiling and the paper with some washi tape just to make sure that it's not going to move and once the plate is warm enough I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Now I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum and I never use an extra seam other than the ones that are provided by the foiling machine. So just the two plates on top of that. I find that with my machine I don't need extra seams, especially with this cardstock which is quite thick as I have found out. I got perfect results from the first try and it really looks beautiful just because this is quite thick at the same time as falling it adds a little bit of um, embossing I would say so it looks like letterpress and now I'm going to use the matching die from the kit and I will place it on top you will see that it's going to cut out the inner circle as well as a couple of flowers and a couple of leaves which are loose I remember that I did use the glossy cardstock for doing the foiling, however I want to add some color on all the flowers and the leaves and I'm going to do that with my alcohol markers. This paper is not designed to work with alcohol markers, however I was able to color with one color and even add a little bit of shading at the bottom. It's not going to give you perfect results, I will be honest here, since this is glossy paper. However, I managed to color nicely and it's going to look just fine. After all, all these areas are quite small, so even if you have some uh, imperfections, it's not going to show at all. If you want to know the exact colors of the markers, I did use my tree blends and uh, it's the Alpine Green Blend for uh, the leaves and the pale pink shades for the flowers. Now you can definitely put together the card without turning it into a shaker card and I did also foil the little sentiment. The plan was to put it somehow like this but once I placed everything together this is where I got the idea to turn it into a shaker card and I'm going with that. So at the back I'm going to use some acetate and I'll show you my trick about acetates. I just use these pieces from the 6x6 rubber stamps. And I'm going to grab a circle die, make sure that it is slightly larger than the hole that I already have on my wreath and I cut a piece of that acetate. I'm using my fine tip white glue and I'm placing a little glue around that hole making sure that I don't go all the way to the edges. There is a little bit of flicking on one point but I'm going to use my uh, fiber cloth and just clean it off. It didn't show at the end at all but if I did end up with some imperfections on the acetate it would be easy to cover them up since I will stick the flowers and the leaves later on as well as the sentiment. So I would make sure to stick everything strategically. Anyway, I'm going to peel off one of those um, fine strips of uh, foam tape. These are by Waffle Flower and they are really handy. I'm going to peel off the bagging so that I can easily manipulate the foam tape and I'm going all around the circle. I will make sure that the two ends match nicely so there aren't any gaps where the confetti can fall out. Now I'm working on my card base and I do have a pink panel that's slightly smaller. My card base is a standard A2 sized card. And for my confetti I'm going with uh, chunky confetti glitter. These are tiny little stars, iridescent, and they are by Studio Katia. I love them because they do add some shine, they are not overwhelming the card with extra color, and at the same time they are completely flat, so they are going to move nicely inside my window. 
I find that uh, this product is absolutely gorgeous, that die cutting and the foiling combination made the card so pretty and uh, it is perfect for any occasion depending on the sentiment that you choose to go with. I foiled paper hugs, this is just a foiling plate that I had from uh, one of my foiling kits by Spellbinder, by the way. I don't even remember from which month that was. Anyway, I'm going to embellish my uh, wreath with uh, the flowers and the leaves and I am adding some foam tape at the back of the flowers to pop them on top. And for the leaves I'm going with glue and I'm just going to tuck them underneath. It is going to make the wreath look even fuller. You can even make more of those uh, leaves and add them around the wreath to make it look uh, fluffier. And finally, of course, I need to add the sentiment. I did cut out the sentiment with one of my banner sentiment dies and I'm going to tag it underneath that uh, flower composition. And of course I have some foam tape at the back to give it some dimension. And you can call this card done at this stage, it looks stunning. However, I'm going to add a few white dots here and there with my glossy white Nouveau Drops. I love the look of it because it makes anything look kind of whimsical. And I always make sure that the dots that I add aren't the same size. Smaller and larger are more interesting. I absolutely love this card, it's super super pretty. After all it combines foiling and a shaker window in one card. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment down below, you will find links to everything I used in the description box. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time.